you? What? You mean he pinned the murder on her? Oh, he could. You had a better motive. Yeah, but she's so... Oh, they couldn't. You haven't much time to decide, Joe. Whether I want to be friends with Whether you want to help that girl. Okay, I'll do it. But get this. It's only temporary. Just till I get her straightened out. Is that clear, Mr. George? Quite clear, my boy. Hey, how'd I get in here? I'm in a bathtub. Your farm's worth, Joe. Yeah, you have to do it so suddenly. I told you that... I told you there wasn't much time. Here, get out of there. Put on this robe. Hey, you still look like me. I told you to always be yourself, Joe. But to others, you look like Farnsworth. Yeah. I do look kind of flabby at that. Eh, not too bad, though. A little training will fix it. You'll be on the paint. Now listen. I'll stay with you for a while just to make sure that everything goes smoothly. Okay. But remember that I'm invisible to everyone except you. Yeah. So we'd better not speak to each other except when we're alone. Yeah. People might think it's strange. <laughs> Mr. Farnsworth? Mr. Farnsworth? That's your secretary answering, Joe. How about my voice? Is that Farnsworth? To him it will be. Uh, Mr. Farnsworth, are you all right? Am I all right? That louse knows he just murdered me. <laughs> Boy, Mr. Jordan, this is going to be a pleasure. Sure, I'm all right. What do you want? The, uh, Miss, Mr. Farnsworth? Hey, you look like you've seen a ghost, Tony. What's the matter? Uh, uh, nothing. I... I... Well, spit it out, stupid. <laughs> Uh, Miss uh, Logan is here to see you, sir. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I I'm coming right down to see her now. You are? Why not? Uh, dress like that, Mr. Farnsworth? Well, if she's going to pal around with a fighter, she'll have to get used to seeing me in a dressing gown. Fight? Mr. Farnsworth, are you sure you're feeling all right? Yeah. But you better see a doctor, Tony. You look sick. Tony, Miss Logan and I heard you call out, and I wondered if... Jerry! You! Well, what about it? You look a little pale around the gills, Mrs. F. Jerry, uh-huh. Oh. Mrs. Farnsworth, is anything wrong? Oh, hello, Miss Logan. I'm glad to see you all right. Look, before we start talking things over, I want you to know something. I'm your friend, see? My friend? The best friend you've got. Come on, Miss Logan. Uh, oh, Tony. Uh, yes, sir? Uh, look after Mrs. Farnsworth. Oh, and uh, both of you, from now on, stay out of my bathroom, understand? You are listening to Heaven Can Wait, produced by the Theatre Guild on the Air and presented by the United States Steel Corporation. <laughs> Now the curtain rises on the second act of Heaven Can Wait, starring Kirk Douglas as Joe and Walter Houston as Mr. Jordan. Cloris Leachman is featured as Betty, Reynolds Evans as 7013, and Doris Dalton as Julia. Uh, Mr. Farnsworth. Uh, Mr. Farnsworth. Huh? Oh. Hello, Tony. How's Mrs. Farnsworth this morning? Uh, feeling better, I believe. Yeah. There's a gentleman waiting to see you. Who? Uh, Mr. Max Levine. He oh. said you'd sent for him. Sure I did. Max is my manager. Manager? I don't recall you're making any changes of personnel at the bank, Mr. Farnsworth. Not a bank manager, stupid. A fight manager. You're planning to take up pugilism as a serious avocation, Mr. Farnsworth? I'm fighting K.O. Murdoch at the garden if Max can book me for it. Then I'm going after the heavyweight title. Any objections? Oh, oh, no, sir, but since you've equipped this office as a gymnasium, uh, perhaps I'd better move my desk upstairs. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, oh uh, tell Max to come in, will you? Uh, yes, sir, but there's a matter here requiring your immediate attention. What's that? A memo from Gibbons. He thinks we should go long 10 million bushels of July wheat. 10 million bushels of wheat? Where we put it? LAUGHTER <laughs> <laughs> Listen, how about 20 million boxes of cornflakes? Well, I uh, have your little joke, sir, but uh, seriously, we need it to hedge our June position. Okay, then order a million gallons of sweet cream. As long as we have the wheat, we might as well eat it. <laughs> no. Anything else? Well, I'll tell them you'll let them know your decision later. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell them I'll have to discuss it with, uh, with a pal of mine. Uh, you mean J.M., of course. Uh, uh, no, just J. Mr. Jordan. Jordan? Yeah. I'd like you to meet him real soon. Uh, yes, sir. 
Uh, also about the Logan matter. Oh, oh, Betty's father. Uh, yes, our attorneys are of the opinion that your testimony would not be sufficient to get him an acquittal. Why not? Well, the investors will not withdraw their charges until Logan pays back their losses penny for penny, and he hasn't the money. Then I'll pay it in Logan's name. But that's over $11 million, Mr. Farnsworth. Do I have it? Well, of course. Then pay it. <laughs> well, yes, sir. Are you sure you're quite well, sir? I'm in the pink, punk. <laughs> Listen, tee off. I've had a pretty good workout, and I'm going to take a bath. And I, uh, I don't need any help from you. Get me? Uh, yeah, yes. I mean, no, sir. Good. Scramola. <laughs> oh, Mr. Jordan. Hello. Joe, how are things going? Oh, not so bad. Uh, Farnsworth's body is a little light, but uh, I'm building it up. You seem to have made quite an impression on your wife and uh, secretary. <laughs> yeah. They think I... Well, they think Farnsworth's gone nuts. Hey, they didn't see you come in, did they? No, really, Joe. Oh, yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting nobody else can see you. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm still invisible. Uh, what does Miss Logan think? Oh, gosh, she's a swell girl, Mr. Jordan. You should have seen her face when I told her I'd get her old man out of the jam. Well, she looked like a... a well, <laughs> you know, Mr. Jordan. Uh, you, uh, have you told her about yourself? Oh, no, no. I couldn't risk having her think I'm nuts. No, that is very wise of you. Oh, but listen, Mr. Jordan. Max. Max Levine, my manager. He's waiting for me right now. And I gotta tell him who I really am and what's happened. Look, could you sort of uh, get uninvisible long enough to explain to him? Well, you can do it yourself, Joe. Uh, okay, I'll try, but look, uh, stick around, will you? I'm, I'm kind of yes, nervous. Yes, of course. <clears throat> uh, come in. Mr. Farnsworth? Max, you lousy punk, come on in. Huh? <laughs> Max, I want you to meet a friend of mine. Mr. Jordan, Max Levine. Yeah. <laughs> Who? Oh. I forgot, you can't see him, but he's here. Look, so give him a nod. He's got an interest in me, too. Oh, well, in that case, how do you do, Mr. Jordan? <laughs> no, no, not there, Max, over here on my left. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> hey, Max, Mr. Jordan is the one who got me this body after they took me up there by mistake. Up where, Mr. Feinberg? <laughs> where you go when you die, only I'm not dead, Max. Look, I'm gonna be champ. You're gonna make a pile of tin out of me. And you're the one that had to go and cremate me. Oh, I ought to slug you. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, take it easy, huh, Mr. Farnsworth? Oh, I know you didn't mean to, Max. You know, it was 7013 It fumbled the ball. Yeah. Well, I got a million things to do, Mr. Farnsworth. Come back here. Hey, Max, what's the big idea? Don't you know me? Gee, don't I look anything like myself? I'm Joe. Joe Pendleton. <laughs> Joe Pendleton's dead. Well, you look just like your pictures in the paper, Mr. Farnsworth. Oh, gee, Mr. Jordan, help me. Max is a swell manager, and I need him. Let him see you for just a second, will you? Just long enough so he'll understand. You'll have to do it yourself, Joe. Oh, couldn't you even... Okay, look, Max, you gotta believe I'm Joe. You and I have been together too long at the part company now. Ever since that time in Astoria when you saw me put away Butcher Boy McKenzie, remember? Yeah. You told me I had color. Yeah. I was what the fans wanted. Yeah, yeah, you're a great kid. <laughs> I mean, um, I mean, Joe was. Uh, look, Mr. Farnsworth. I'm not Farnsworth. Look, I'm Joe Pendleton. I'll prove it to you. How's your sister Rosie, Max? Huh? How are her three kids? Uh, did her husband finally get things settled up with that bookie and Passe? Pipe down, will you? <laughs> How do you know about my family? Because I'm Joe, you dope. Hey, look, look. Here's my lucky sax. Remember that? That's Joe's sax. Where did you get that? You gave it to me three Christmases ago. Where did I play your favorite tune? Remember this? Oh, <laughs> uh, you never could hit that note. <laughs> what am I saying?